Bible prophecy warns of a flesh man coming on the scene with supernatural powers that he got from the devil. Well, he will use these supernatural powers to do miracles in the sight of men, and these miracles he will use to fool the entire world into thinking that he's God or Jesus Christ or try to replace Christ. Let me tell you about the mark of the beast and the Antichrist real quick. The Antichrist is going to be somebody that's going to be a hundred times worse than Hitler. But when he starts out, he's going to be a beautiful speaker, uh, mesmerizing in appearance, and a man of peace. That's how he's going to present himself. And he's going to unite all the world's religions under him. And he's going to pretty much form a religious dictatorship that will kill anybody that doesn't bow down to him. First on his list will be to kill Christians, to take the place of Jesus Christ and to claim that he's God. He's going to sit in the temple over in Jerusalem and pretend to be God. Well, his system is going to be financial, economic and all that and you won't be you won't be able to be a part of that system unless you take an oath to him and reject all your former faiths like Christianity and whatever else you believed in. And if you ain't willing to do that, it'll threaten your family and threaten your kids and threaten your mom to kill them first in front of you and then kill you. But if you're a Christian, you know that you got to stick with Christ no matter what, even if it means death because Christ died for us. He gave us his all, you know, just so we can have a chance to live with him in heaven. So this uh, Mark of the Beast and Antichrist, it has teeth behind it because in 1991, these laws were introduced to the U.S. from the Sanhedrin called the Noahide Laws. And it's seven of them. But as you go deeper into these Noahide Laws, one of the tenets is... If you will not renounce Jesus Christ, the penalty is death because worshiping Jesus Christ to the Sanhedrin and the Noahide laws is considered idolatry. And so they'll murder you. These, the Sanhedrin is the same guys back in the Bible days that conspired against and murdered Jesus because they were jealous of Jesus because Jesus was like an innovator. You know, where they was all about that religion and exploiting people. But Jesus Christ came with the true faith, which was a family, family based doctrine where you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ is the Son. He's our Redeemer, He's our Healer, He's our everything. And He came to earth from heaven to show us how to do it. And the difference between Him and all these other false gods is Jesus Christ is the only God that said He wasn't too good to die for His servants. So He left His throne in heaven and came down here and died took our penalty on the cross because we were sinners and we were worthy of whatever punishment we were supposed to get by the bad things we've done but Christ said you know what father I'll take their punishment for them and if they follow me I'll, I'll lead them to heaven so leave them in my hands so Christ is like our lawyer our defender our everything because Satan all he does is accuse us of all, accuse us of all the bad things we do he's like hey God look at what they're doing they're just like me so I get to take them into hell but Christ said hey if they follow me my blood is on them so they're mine and I can take them with me to heaven so that's what the deal is with Jesus Christ and this mark of the beast and antichrist system this antichrist figure he's gonna have supernatural powers and all that he's gonna have everything that he needs from the devil to fool mankind but just know if you're a Christian you can't go along with him just to save your life or to eat or anything like that because if you do God will reject you and you won't be able to go to heaven so you have to hold on no matter how hard it gets so it's letting everybody know about the Antichrist and the beast system alright guys make the right choice God bless you and I love you I'm going to read from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write these things, saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shed it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, 
I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Okay, I'm reading from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and this relates to the Antichrist topic. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivable, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, and that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Wherefore, whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast, hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which have loved us and have given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. They'll give it to him up the middle. Oh, good footwork on the spin. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. He lost two there, and it's third down. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point in the game. This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. Shotgun now for Manning. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. 
PAT up and good by Rosas. And that will shave one more off this lead. Rosas now to kick this one away. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you got to like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. Prescott now. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one goes for 24 yards. midfield but no further just a yard there Brandon one thing about blitzes they really confuse offensive linemen at times and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you if you don't you saw the end result defensive tackle end up making the play Prescott now from the 50. Eluding the pressure right. He'll let it fly for Austin. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing. Prescott. He's going to sling this deep downfield. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works? First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to them until defense makes any kind of an adjustment. And now Jason Garrett electing for his guys to try for two. All right, now, now a toss coming right side. That's Jackson. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And New York set to take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And some room to roll now. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school 
And one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. Good one. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Taco Charlton. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Zebra, zebra, zebra. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's Manning to throw. And he's going to go down again. Taco Charlton in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. And this is going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Manning to throw for it on four. He sets to fire deep. A oh, wide open, complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. Rosas to add the extra point. Rosas good with the extra point, and that will get him one closer. Rosas now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. First and ten, Prescott. To the right side, he's got Cooper, it's complete. And just shedding him off there. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 43 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. First down, Prescott. Flushed out right. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open. Now second down. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. You're dropping eight. Where are you going to go with the football? Here's second and ten now from about the 32. On second down, Prescott again. Forced out to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Prescott yet again. 
And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant it a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And his kick is indeed good. And that will bump the lead up to 11. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now out come the Giants. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. It takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and Deeper, thought there were some Deeper. holes in the defense. And they exploited them the Deeper, last Deeper, time Deeper. out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. They'll complete this to Ingram is tight end. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not only going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. giant touchdown Odell Beckham 55 yards and the Giants strike quickly here for six points PAT up and good by Rosas and that will shave one more off this lead Rosas now to kick this one away And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Cowboys. We have been treated to great offense on both sides. The defense is on the other end of the spectrum. They're just searching for answers right now, aren't they? And for most defenses, it's a very uncomfortable and in a lot of ways unfamiliar spot because points are going to be scored. But the way we're seeing them today, it's almost like there's no resistance. They've got to figure out how to slow these offenses down. Maybe someone on either side can make a big play and start to wreck and disrupt the timing that we're seeing. As we get closer to halftime here. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. They'll run it with Jackson. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On the ground, this is Jackson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On play action, Prescott. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Check 
Prescott from the gun. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Alec Ogletree. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. So after the INT, it's Manning. He's going to let this one go deep. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him throw another one. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. On play action, now Manning. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. A first down carry for they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Sean Lee, the pro bowler, there for the tackle. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Manning to throw on second down. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They'll go for it. It's Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Manning now rebounding nicely after the interception. He's hit four straight to start the drive. It's first down. Working from the gun, Manning, and Ingram's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Evan Ingram from 10 yards out, and the Giants are in for six. 
Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Rosas good with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This will be taken in at the one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Play action now, Prescott. Looking deep in the direction of Cook, and that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The gain of 39 that time. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. out incomplete it's a lot of contact going on there and in the end unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body everything looked pretty good until the finish throwing again Prescott on second and ten now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete and all the way down inside the five to the four it's a good gain of 11 sets him up first and goal They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want to. You're <laughs> without a doubt. And so far. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And a heck of a return as he goes out of bounds across the 50 inside the 45. 
And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game. And that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. And that play got bottled up. Throwing his Manning on third down. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll put him close to 100 yards receiving. He's at 98, and he's got a first down. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. the 16. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Seven. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Brandon, it's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Stop just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. taking the lead here in the final minute. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah, what looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Rosas now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. 
get one up. to get yourself in position for the second one, whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary, but you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. Let's see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw, deep depth, and this is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tavon Austin with two ticks remaining. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And now, once again, they'll line up to go for two. Now a toss coming right side. It's Jackson, and he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. So some drama down at the very end of this ball game, Charles, on that final kickoff. They were hoping to break free, some sort of miracle play, but they couldn't do it. They had a chance, and that was their only opportunity to try and bring it all the way back. As you noted, they weren't able to get that done, but at least they had the shot. What a tremendous game to be this close and this well contested. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.